Former ANC Treasurer General Matthews Fosa provides an honest examination of his tumultuous relationship with former President Jacob Zuma in his memoir Witness to Power. He reveals how the two notable leaders' divergent ideologies and divergent plans for the ANC caused them to remain silent for a long time. Fosa, who is well known for his candid opinions and dedication to accountability, remembers how he rose to prominence as one of Zuma's most vocal opponents inside the party, promoting openness and sound governance at a time when internal division was escalating. An extract from Witness to Power claims that Fosa's worries about Zuma's management style and the ANC's increasing corruption created a long-lasting schism. After initially standing together behind the party's liberation flag, the two men became further apart as Fosa questioned Zuma's leadership on important matters affecting the ANC and the nation. Co-workers tried to intervene, but the conflict became more intense since neither party was prepared to change their position. Fosa describes how he was shunned by certain ANC circles for his vocal criticism of Zuma's leadership style and governance philosophy, but it also made him more determined to defend the ideals he felt the party was built on. The ANC's legacy of fighting for equality and justice was very important to me, says Fosa. I could not watch as integrity and leadership was undermined. Their tense relationship came to embody the ideological division within the ANC, with Zuma's followers seeing such criticism as treachery and Fosa representing a group calling for responsibility and change. In his biography, Fosa explores the wider effects of this split, pointing out how it undermined the party's cohesion and capacity to successfully address South Africa's problems. Thinking back on their lack of communication, Fosa says that their quiet highlighted how serious the ANC's internal problems were. He observes that our incapacity to resolve differences became a microcosm of the party's struggles. The difficulties the ANC may yet have if internal conflicts are not resolved are alluded to in Fosa's book, which offers an insightful description of how interpersonal connections inside political organizations may affect national leadership. Richard Nkungo, the president of the South African National Civic Organization, Senko, has once again made startling statements about the coalition talks between the ANC and the Yumkanto Wisiswi, MK, party after the May 29th elections. Nkungo claims that among the important requests made by the MK party were the dismissal of Cyril Ramaphosa as ANC president and the retraction of all accusations of wrongdoing against former President Jacob Zuma. Nkungo said in a statement that has caused further controversy that the demands of the MK party were made in order to form a coalition agreement that would change the political landscape of South Africa. Nkungo said that the MK party had made it plain that they would only entertain a partnership if the ANC agreed to back their agenda, which included ousting President Ramaphosa and clearing Zuma of all charges. Although the ANC has not made these demands public, sources say the talks have been difficult and the MK party has been adamant on terms they believe are necessary to restore the party's principles and preserve Zuma's legacy. According to reports, the MK party has called for a stop to what they see to as a selective justice approach, claiming that Zuma's corruption accusations are politically driven and that Ramaphosa's leadership is polarizing. With sections split over Ramaphosa's leadership and the ongoing influence of Zuma's followers inside the party, Nkungo's allegations coincide with escalating friction within the ANC and its allies. According to analysts, granting the MK party's demands may put the ANC in a difficult situation and increase the likelihood of internal conflict and public outrage. It's unclear how the coalition talks will go on, and neither the ANC nor the MK party have formally responded to Mkungo's allegations. However, as South Africa's political alliances change, Mkungo's comment highlights the escalating stakes. The survival of the partnership and its effect on national leadership are in doubt as coalition discussions continue, and the ANC must balance the demands of its allies with its own internal unity.